I've been thinking about a few things due to depressed Nisagi's producing videos where he revealed personal information about a number of VTubers. Cultures and subcultures have their taboos. Things that are considered bad, polluting, or wrong. For example, and this is me talking about my understanding, things that touch the arse are taboo in Maori culture. It is considered bad to sit on things that should be clean. In Japanese culture, wearing shoes indoors and being barefoot outdoors is considered wrong and taboo. Within the furry community, being seen wearing a fursuit but without your head on is considered a taboo. For VTubers, information about the nakahane ito, that is the person inside, is taboo. We even use the term forbidden knowledge to knowing who the person inside is or the relationship between VTubers who share a common person inside. In ludology, the study of games from a cultural perspective, there is the concept of the magic circle, a boundary that splits the real world from the world of the game. For fans of fursuiting, VTubers and wrestling, there exists a, not just a voluntary suspension of disbelief, but a willing adoption of the kayfabe. Stepping into that magic circle and joining in playing pretend along with the VTuber. This is why things like forbidden knowledge and headlessness are considered taboo. They violate this magic circle. In some situations, a VTuber will elect to step over that boundary. However, like all matters that involve personal boundaries, this is explicitly has to be with the consent of the person involved. Depressed Nasagi considered himself a historian. The VTuber community does have a growing sub-sub community of historians, journalists, and people engaged in analysis. A type of citizen academia. In the long history of academia, we've seen examples where academic curiosity has disrespected the wishes, needs, consent, and taboos of those being studied. As individuals and as a group, we should learn from that history and hold ourselves to a better standard.